you've got to make sure that you've got the proper fuel so you can get the most out of your car. Without dead that's the key, man. This, this fuel is supposed to have uh, incredible uh, ability to not detonate. So, you know, you don't have to worry about chucking a bunch of lead in, in vehicles anymore. That's nice. That's good. I'm glad to see that. That's a big deal. You can get to spin the tires. About a mile again. Right. Totally different 
There's another 100 horsepower. I might sit in the back seat. But that's out of a 4.6 liter. 4.6 liter, that's amazing. Wow. Hey, how much torque did it make? It's close to 900? 860. 1070 horsepower. So, Jake, what's the number? 995. 995. This just made 1072. Wow. We couldn't get the boost up before. Now we can. Well, dude, it's safe to say that this works. Still running. Wow. No detonation. No, no detonation. 1072. And without lead. VP and, and a lot of the other gasolines, they fudge their octane numbers. They're not true research method octane numbers. So when you see C16, the real octane in it is not 116 octane. It, it's a good bit lower. So Shell came out with this this uh, this race fuel. It's got no lead, but it has the protective qualities of having lead. You can mix this with your 93 octane gas that you get in a pump. Right. And you're not killing cats. You're not killing catalytic converters because there's no lead in it. So a lot of these customers that have cars like this, that their only solution in the past has always been lead in race fuels. Even your car, which you've had a race tune before. Well, I run still have a race tune. I want to run 10 leaded in my in my own one. Right. Right. So just so you know, Shell's got a race fuel that is a true 110, no lead, no oxygen. Okay, okay, so you don't have to worry about screwing up catalytic converters and the guy, whoever's going to, you know, any shop like Milano Performance doing a performance tune on a vehicle like this, this is a huge thing for a performance shop because they can upsell the, 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 the race tune knowing that the customer can come back and get the fuel here and get it in the whole, uh, in the whole distribution channel of Shell's race products, racing fuel, instead of having to always go to either the racetrack or rely upon someone else giving them leaded fuel. Yeah. I mean, that car just made close to 100 more horsepower using Shell URT Advance. That just goes to show you, if, if this didn't have that ability of octane, this car would have detonated and probably would have blown up at this horsepower level. Oh, yeah. And that's a 4.6 liter with a 91 millimeter turbo. If you don't have the proper fuel in there, uh, and, and, and if you are going to start having detonation issues, that, that car will come apart. It's building the boost. One thousand seventy-two rear wheel horsepower, eight sixty-two torque. And here, look how smooth it is too. There's the pump gas. Wow, look at the difference in the pump gas. So pump gas, it was only able to put up six hundred eleven. Was that six fifty? Six fifty-four. So six fifty-four on pump gas. Look at the difference I'm putting in. Uh, you putting in the, the, the Shell race fuel, man. That's huge. Obviously, the Shell race fuels allow, allow to, to bump timing and, and boost without any detonation, but that's the name of the game. I mean, if you're going to do a race tune, you've got to make sure that you've got the proper fuel so you can get the most out of your car.